this grit magazine, man. I mess with them, so you should mess with them. If you ain't messing with them, you're losing. Cool Running DJ, we started that in Chicago. We're back in there, me and my friend Tony Palmer. We were going to high school, and uh, in Chicago, my mama worked 11 to 7. She worked the graveyard shift. So being from Jamaica, as soon as she went to work, we were cooking some curry golden, you know what I'm saying? We were having these parties. I used to rap. I used to rap that Jamaican thing, you know what I'm saying? I used to open for like Yellow Man, Trix and Palmer, you know, back in the days, you know what I'm saying? So me and my partner, we just got on the microphone, and he was a singer. He was singing our rap. All of a sudden, man, it just it just took off. Like we were celebrities as young dudes in school, in high school. We were like celebrities. So we came up with the Cool Running DJs because Cool Runnings in Jamaica is iry. Cool Runnings, everybody like, how you doing? Cool Runnings, iry, copacetic. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just a loving word. So. I, I, made, I came up with my crew as a Cool Runners crew, and um, never looked back, man. We started out with like four DJs. It's like I was talking on the mic, and then we have a selector. You know, as a, as a Jamaican, the person that select the records, that's a selector. You know, and, and a DJ is a person that raps. So it, it was a little different from the way Americans do it. Okay. So we had like four of us. Then I, I moved to Florida, and um, I just started a campaign. The cool running DJ. Now we got like 61 DJs from everywhere. And, uh, you know, we record breakers, but we solid. They stand by the same thing that I came in the game. I don't play no diss record. I don't take no sides or no beef. We don't draw no lines in the sand. We just here to break records and make superstars. And that's what it is. I went to high school here too, oh, so yeah. so that's different. I went to high school in America. Like I came here when I was like 14, so I went to high school in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So, be coming here a little earlier, I, I, I get to grow up with the, with Americans more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 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 like I, you know, I was telling a friend of mine this morning, coming into the hip hop, I was telling that 90 percent of hip hop, people say 90 percent is common sense, but sense ain't common because everybody ain't got them. You know what I'm saying? I kind of look at life, I kind of look at life like you wake up in the morning and you just thank God for bringing you up and then you just fill in the blanks. You know, I feel like people can make it in life. If, like I was telling, you know, I was telling certain people this, you know, get up and every, at the end of every day for a week, write, have a negative and a positive and write everything you did negative and everything you did positive towards your career. And if a negative is beating your positive, that means you gotta change. You know, I tell artists, Go to the club from 1 o'clock to 3. If you ain't heard nothing in there that you have on your hard drive, then you got to go back to work. A lot of people don't understand that. You feel me? And it's, you know, it, it, it takes manners to kind of get through this world. The more humble you be is the more people will mess with you. And it, You know, it's always nice to be important, but it's way more important to be nice. Like you might pull up at McDonald's one morning and be like, hey, can I, lady, you know, she might give you an egg McMuffin and a sausage muffin. Hey, what, 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 what? No, she might just got beat up by her husband this morning. She might have a car accident on the way to work. Sometimes you just got to just chill and just be humble. The so one thing about God is sit up high, he look down low. He understands what's going on. So if he's a God-fearing man, and there's two things about me in life. If you don't like God, and you don't take care of your kids, I don't mess with you. You know, I got 11 kids myself, man. It's my youngest one you see out there. I take care of all my girls, man. I have nine girls, man. I got one more left to go through college, man. I love them. They're my best friends because you take care of your kids. God gonna bless you a hundredfold. You never go broke. Okay, he says, suffer them children to come to me because those are kids. You take care of them kids, man. You. Blessing gonna overflow at all times. And I tell these guys this every day. Don't brag about your pay child support, because that's wrong. You're supposed to take care of your child. Don't ever brag about what you do for your kids, because you're supposed to. Because if you got 20 kids in your house, and you buy them some Air Jordans, you know what they're going to ask you? What store you got these Jordans from, Daddy? But every morning you get up, throughout the day, lunch, breakfast, dinner, they never ask you where you got the food from. 
because that's what you're supposed to do. That's your job. Kids, they never ask you where the food came from. But they always ask you where you buy that shirt from or where you got them shoes from. A lot of people, their priorities are messed up with a lot of young blacks. A lot of, and I'm talking about blacks because that's, you know, that's my nation. You know, that's, that's my nationality. I'm, I'm an African-American. I'm talking about them. I love them. A lot of them priorities is shift. A lot of them don't know what the priorities are like. You know, you got dudes calling from prison talking about, hold it down till I get there. <laughs> Nigga, you messed up. You know, tell them don't come here. Don't do what I do to get here. Change your life. Do something else. Instead of these young guys on the, on the records talking about, I can call my young niggas to come shoot you up or whatever. Go get them a job at, you know, Kroger's or something. Go back some, you know, help them get a job. Don't, don't, don't try to put a pistol in their hands. It's a lot of stuff that we need to do. And I know sometimes you say, and a lot of them be like, man, you just don't, you ain't from where? Yes, I'm from where you're from. I'm from right there. I'm from right there. I've seen a lot of deaths, a lot of murders. I've seen a lot of stuff in my life. But God has prevailed me to come here and talk about it today. I'm one of them chosen ones, you know. I feel like I'm a chosen one because when I was two months old, I, they dug my grave and everything to bury me because I, I was supposed to die because none of my kids, nothing works. But I'm here today. I really, really felt like I'm here for a reason, you know. I feel like, man, it's, it's a lot of things I've seen that I could have done better. It's a lot of mistakes that I made. The thing about it, I learn from every mistake. Every mistake that I paid for, I learned a lot from it. The ones I ain't paid for, I ain't learned nothing from it. My mama bought me a car and I crashed it. I never washed it, never done nothing, never changed the oil, nothing. But when I purchased my first car and I see what it cost to fix it, I changed the oil every month, I did everything. Something, some, some stuff is growing pains. Tell your little girl, don't, don't talk to them boys because that's not no good. Don't do this, don't do that. They're growing pain. They gotta get pregnant. They gotta do everything to say, okay, they can tell they kid. I shouldn't have did this what my mama said. I shouldn't have did it. It's growing pain. Some of this stuff we gotta do.